Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. In this video, we will provide an overview of the Mini DSP Flex HTX using Device Console. The Flex HTX is a digital signal processor for both home theater and multi-channel audio systems. Device Console is the user interface for setting the audio system parameters to your Flex HTX. The Flex HTX features a variety of controls for configuring input channels, bass management, channel routing, DIRAC and PEQ, matrix mixer, and finally, the output channels, which include PEQ, crossover, delay, gain, and inversion. With eight input channels and eight output channels, the Flex HTX features multi-channel linear PCM audio via HDMI eARC, multi-channel USB audio input, SPDIF and Toslink digital inputs, and analog input and output with both RCA and TRS balance connections. When you receive your Flex HTX, you'll download Device Console from the Mini DSP website. Once downloaded, Device Console will be the dashboard for configuring your system. Device Console opens with general settings on the left panel and the configuration controls on the right panel. Using the general settings panel, you can adjust master volume, turn DIRAC on and off, and select input channels. You also can select save and recall configuration presets and perform reset all. The tabs along the top of the Device Console dashboard provide access to the configuration controls with each tab opening to a specific page. You can label each of your input channels on the Input Channels page. This is also where you will observe input levels coming from each of your source channels. The input channels in this example are labeled with the standard HDMI 7.1 nomenclature, but can be changed to fit any of the various HTX applications. The Base Management page is used to route low frequency signals from any of the input channels and direct them into the Base Management channel. In this example, which is a 7.1 surround system, we will extract the base management channel from the left and right front speakers, and also from the incoming LFE channel. First, we enable the high and low pass filters for the left and right main channels. Then we enable the low pass for the LFE channel. We've selected 100 Hz for the high and low pass on the front left and right speakers. And for the LFE low pass, we've selected 150 Hz to allow all of the signals to pass through. Next, we allow these channels to enter the base management channel by turning off the mute button. Typically, LFE channels have negative 10 dB programmed in, so we will add 10 dB to bring it up to the natural level. You'll find this routing matrix on the channel routing page. Here, you can perform channel routing, mixing, and or splitting, as well as relative level settings. You can mix, split, and route channels prior to DIRAC or PEQ processing. DIRAC is an optional feature for the Flex HTX, and when enabled, applies multi-channel room correction. A DIRAC project is initiated from the general settings on the device console dashboard. On this page, you'll also find eight full-function 10-band PEQs that can be used in addition to or instead of DIRAC. With the PEQs, you can adjust frequency, gain, Q, and filter type individually. All PEQ parameters can be adjusted in real time. The Flex HTX has eight PEQ banks in both the DIRAC PEQ page and the output page. The matrix mixer is used for any final routing, mixing, or splitting prior to the output channels page. This is where you can route, split, and or mix incoming channels as necessary to prepare for the final output. The output channels page contains all of the primary controls that can be applied on each output channel individually. These include PEQ, crossovers, delay, gain, inversion, mute, compression, and also a visual output level meter. The HDMI ARC page provides information about the eARC connection. This display shows that you are receiving 5.1 channel linear PCM. You need to check this to make sure that your source is outputting the expected audio reverse channels, or eARC. The signal flow diagram is designed to work as a roadmap allowing you to chart the different elements of your system before beginning to set the configurations. This example shows a straight-through configuration with no base management or crossovers. It is the default configuration for the Flex HTX. As you begin to develop your own specific application, you'll use these elements throughout your signal flow diagram. If you have DIRAC enabled on your Flex HTX, 
you'll decide how direct processing is applied to either individual or groups of channels. You can download a blank signal flow diagram worksheet from the resources section of our website and use it to sketch ideas for your system layout before implementation. Be sure to visit us at DeerCreekAudio.com for more resources, tech blogs, and product details. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more video releases.